Stone circles conjure up an ancient world of druid, astronomers, mysterious ceremonies and pagan dances. For millennia we have questioned why they were built, who built them and how they were built. Following my profound experiences with the light in Egypt, I've been on a personal spiritual quest of sorts to learn about my connection to nature and at ancient sites. The light is drawn to me for whatever reason at megalithic sites and around rock formations. This photo is at the Pyramids of Giza with the group of people I was with recently. As you can see at the back, there is a beam of light coming from me or pointing at me. I personally believe that spending time in nature, connecting with nature and viewing it with absolute awe, wonder and reverence has opened up my senses in some way. I believe the ancients were far more in tune than we are today with Mother Earth and the cosmos and were truly connected to nature. Rep in nature is all about paying homage to nature and the ancients. The ancients knew this, they understood that everything is connected and I believe that through this connection to Gaia, they possessed a higher state of consciousness. I believe this higher state of consciousness enabled them to tap into the harmonic energies of Mother Earth, to live in harmony with the planet and to create the megalithic sites we see all over the planet. I have visited many stone circles on the British Isles, Portugal and in Brittany and it's thought that around 4,000 stone circles were created in Britain, Ireland and in Brittany, France. These stone circles date back to around 3,300 BCE. They could well be older and around 1,300 remain in the British Isles while the rest have been destroyed. From a small cluster of four or five standing stones to a full ring of megaliths, they are seemingly random in number and arranged in rings of different sizes. The mainstream narrative seems to be they, they were used as burial grounds, places for ceremony, worship gatherings and connected to agriculture events such as the summer solstice. Archaeologists believe they served a ritual or ceremonial purpose in relation to astronomical alignments and they could possibly have been used as a burial ground since human remains have been found in and around circles. It's human nature to want to be buried at an ancient, sacred and mysterious site and I believe these stone circles have been repurposed as burial grounds over the millennia. Due to the sheer number of stone circles, is it logical to assume they serve this purpose? Was there a need for so many ceremonial or astronomical calendars? The builders of these stone circles were forced to live in the harsh climate of northwestern Europe and with a great need for food, water and shelter. Life must have been so harsh then, a chill or common cold could kill anyone of any age as it frequently developed into pneumonia under the conditions in which these people lived and even for the able-bodied life would have been painful, stomach bubs, intestinal worms, headaches, tooth rot and arthritis at an early age to name just a few ailments. Food poison must have been a regular occurrence and a simple cut could result in infection and yet you could bleed to death from the kind of wounds that the ancients risked every day, let alone if you fought in a battle. Apart from regular drinking water, the ancients also required water that had a therapeutic and healing impact on their physical and spiritual well-being. This sacred water originated from deep wells located at the intersections of Earth's energy lines. It was considered sacred and gained its potency through the natural swirling motion, thereby purifying the water molecules. These significant ancient wells might well have been identified by stone circles with a diameter and number of upright stones determined the size and depth of the revered well. Typically, these wells were situated below the fluctuating groundwater level. For the ancients, these stone circles served as simple yet significant landmarks that could easily be recognised regardless of weather conditions or any other circumstances. What if stone circles were ancient water temples? What if they were used to create sacred, purified water? Humankind has always revered springs, intuitively understanding that the water has healing properties and curative powers. 
Even medieval castles, churches, cathedrals were erected above a sacred well as they considered this water a sacred gift from God in addition to the daily need for water. Primary or deep water refers to a substantial volume of pristine fresh water that is held within a specific layer deep within the earth's crust. It is created under pressure and comes near the surface by itself without using pumps. Unlike groundwater, it is of excellent quality, clean and unspoiled and not subject to the effects of drought and pollution and available in limitless quantities. The stones we see at stone circles represent a spiral. The spiral pattern was revered by the ancients and perhaps these stone circles in their spiral shape bring to life the harmonic energy of Mother Earth. I believe the ancients were well, well aware of this and were in tune with the energies of the Earth and built these stone circles to harness this energy by creating healing water. Underground water is a great conductor of electromagnetic energy and the ancients built these stone circles upon these magnetic hotspots creating power centers. The standing stones are rooted in the earth, sighted above energy lines and may well have acted like batteries or magnets absorbing and releasing this form of magnetic energy and perhaps were switched on as it were during the solar alignments. This leads me back to the experiences I had with the light around the stones in Egypt and elsewhere. It's clear to me at least the stones emit a form of energy and react to their surroundings. I believe this is exactly what happened to me. Many circles have acoustic properties that can enhance the human voice and some stones when hit they also reverberate. Were they also perhaps used to affect human consciousness? The ancients, I believe, were able to tap into this energy. They were able to work in harmony with the planet and I believe stone circles we see were built to produce healing water. This is why we have so many stone circles. If humanity is to live in harmony with the planet, we need to look to our ancient past. These stone circles are an important message in stone, a message intended for future generations, including ours. I firmly believe this ancient knowledge is of the greatest importance for the preservation of the planet. Thank you so much for taking the time out to watch this video. I really appreciate it. Please leave us a wee comment below. Cheers.